हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू रिदम क्लासेस माय नेम इज अरविंद सिंह एंड टुडे इज अवर क्वेश्चन इज द पैरल साइड्स ऑफ अ ट्रेपीजियम आर 20 सेंटीमीटर एंड 10 सेंटीमीटर इट्स नॉन पैरल साइड्स आर बोथ इक्वल ईच बीइंग 13 सेंटीमीटर फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ अ ट्रेपीजियम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू फर्स्ट ड्रॉ द फिगर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ओके इफ वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द फिगर देन वी कैन से इट्स अ शेप लाइक ट्रेपीजियम वी ड्रॉ हियर अ ट्रेपीजियम and in this trapezium we have the measurement the parallel sides of a trapezium are 20 cm and 10 cm that means one parallel side is 20 cm another parallel side is 10 cm okay now we name this trapezium it becomes a b c and d this is a trapezium a b c d in this ab is equal to 20 cm dc is equal to 10 cm okay now question is saying its non parallel sides are both equal that means this non parallel sides are equal and each being 13 cm that means it is 13 cm and this is also 13 cm okay from here if we need to find out the area of this trapezium then what we do first of all we draw a perpendicular height this is perpendicular height and we need to find this perpendicular height of trapezium and here we draw one more perpendicular height okay after this we can see its name is e and f okay from here student if you see this this is a triangle aed it's a right angle triangle okay and this is a triangle fbc it's also a right angle triangle in this figure we can say if from here to here it is 10 cm then we can say from here to here that means the distance of e f is equal to 10 cm okay and distance of ab is equal to 20 cm student in this figure we can say this distance and this distance will be equal because both distance are forming same angle with the perpendicular height both side these angles are same and the measurement of this line is also same that's why we can say if this is a 10 cm then we can say this will be 5 cm okay and this will be also 5 cm from here if we calculate from the triangle aed in triangle aed we can see here it's a right angle triangle and we have the base of triangle we don't have the height of triangle and we have the hypotenuse of triangle from the pythagoras theorem we can say hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square okay but if we put the hypotenuse that is ad ad square equals to base square that means ae square plus height square that means ed square from here if you solve this then we get this a 13 square is equal to ad that is 5 cm 5 square that is ed ed is h okay they become h square from here we can say h square is equal to 13 square minus 5 square h square is equal finally becomes 13 square that is 169 minus 5 square that is 25 from here we get 144 okay now finally we get h is equal to under root 144 which is plus minus 12 from here we can say h is equal to 12 okay 12 cm now we have the height of this trapezium now we can find out the area of this trapezium okay we can say the parallel side of a trapezium at 20 cm and 10 cm that means we have a is equal to 10 cm we have b is equal to 20 cm in this trapezium if we assume this a and if we assume this b and we have height is equal to now we have 12 cm okay now if we write the formula of trapezium then it becomes area area of trapezium becomes 1 by 2 into height into sum of parallel side that means sum of a plus b this is the formula of trapezium and if we solve this then it becomes 1 by 2 into height we have 
into a plus b we have 10 plus 20 from here if we solve this then it becomes 2 1 ja 2 2 6 ja 12 6 into 10 plus 20 equals to 30 okay now it becomes 6 into 3 that is 6 3 ja 18 and 0 here that means 180 centimeters square this is our answer finally we can say student this will be the area of trapezium okay now we can write here thus area of trapezium equals to 180 centimeter square finally we have this answer okay hey students if you like this video then share it with your friends and if you want me to teach you more then subscribe to my youtube channel hey students if you don't want to miss any of video from this channel then you need to make sure hit the bell icon. Thank you. Jai Hind.